Do I have to do this? Yes. Are you, are you sure? Yes. <sighs> okay, so we're in Meyer. All right, let me roll up my sleeves here. Follow me, follow me. Yay! Not again. Yes, again. Not again. Look at this. Mega mystery box right here. Five booster packs, one oversized card, one online code card, one tin, and one bonus item in here as well. So we see some uh, Phantom Forces on the cover. We see Evolving Skies. Uh, of course, they put a course, first edition Charizard. Charizard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of course they do. How much is this? Don't worry about that. I'm going to assume maybe $50? Oh, no. We can probably, like, uh, do look, a... But look what else is happening. Look at this. Buy one, get one. 50% off. You can get a $10 coupon when you spend $100. All right, so you don't have to. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Maybe not that one. Mm, maybe not that one. Oh. This one? <laughs> You're saying I want this one? You get that one. All right, all right, we got, do you wanna be on camera? Random patrons right here. <laughs> <laughs> but this one? That one. Yeah, Are you sure? Uh, some, yes. some good to know. Okay, all right, well I gotta remember which one which one this is? All right. You're gonna have to mark. Okay, this one's the bottom. This okay. The bottom. Good job. All right. Good Watch job. <laughs> I, still need, I still need one more. Do you want to pick it out? Yeah. So it's between those two right there. Oh. 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 Okay. All right. There so it these is. Two on the bottom. Good picks. All right. So, <laughs> like them. <laughs> so appreciate it. <laughs> oh, what, what are you picking out here? Yeah, I'm with you. I don't even know. I've been out of Pokemon game so long. I can. I can help you make a suggestion. Or, uh, um, so I imagine like your OG when it comes to Pokemon, like, right? Like, like the original. Gen 1. This set right here. Okay. 151. This is going to be all original Pokemon. It's going to be all original Pokemon. There's Charizard in this one as well. So if you okay. like hunt for Charizard. And so that's, a, that's probably like one of the most popular sets right now. Okay. So there we go. that one. So inside you get some promos with that. You're gonna get that, those two promos. That's actually a metal card. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a little bit more on the expensive side. It is, yeah. Lie, but um, I mean, they are doing a buy one get one fifty percent off. So it's like, if you get that, you got to get something, something out. So if money's not lost, right there. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, uh, if you like the original Kanto region, yeah. that's, that's the one you want to go for. Gen one, Gen two, Gen two is actually my favorite, but. Oh, Gen 2 is your favorite? Oh, that's yeah. good to hear. Yeah. That's good so. to hear. I mean, I always tell people, like, you know, if you've never, like, experienced some of the newer Pokemon, I'd definitely give it a try because there's, oh, yeah. there's a lot of neat Pokemon out there that have been released in the past, yeah. you know, a few years. So, I don't know. I, I'm just, uh, I just love everything Pokemon, so I'm yeah. game for anything. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I really no need problem. something. I've already eyeballing these online, so I was like, if they're right in front of me, I'll snap. Oh, no, there you yeah, go. Those, those, those are, are good, good ones. Yeah. Thank you for participating as well. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. It was fun. <laughs> Thank Thanks, guys. Thanks. I think I saw something else. Look at this. Look at this. Are you really going to get... Mystery cubes right here. I don't, I don't think See, I need... I no. Mean... I think I think this is just going to be the same <laughs> the same junk it always is, but I think they just switched the paper out this time. <laughs> they might have, but you should probably test it and make sure. No, because then I have to get two of them. I know. These, these things are like $20. They have to be like $20. Look at Versus this. Versus the Mega Mystery ones. One Ultra Rare card, three Foil cards, and 36 Common cards. Oh, that's not that good. No, no. And I guarantee you it's going to be like $20. They did have a uh, they did have a 151 box, but I made a suggestion that he buy it. And he bought it. And he bought it. And he bought it. So he's getting back into Pokemon, which Yay. I thought was awesome. So we sat here and talked for a bit. Did you get any of that on Oh, you? I got a lot of it on okay, me. Awesome. 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 <laughs> I thought it was great. Yeah, I love just meeting random people like that. That is just right. you know, so cool to see. That's a moment I won't forget because now I'm gonna now I'm gonna think about these boxes and think about them at the exact same time, right? right? And it's just kind of kind of neat. I don't know. So we're gonna these, have to figure out how to here. These bottom two. If I do there. Okay, so little little marks. So yeah. this is buy one get one fifty percent off. So this should be. It should be a little over a hundred dollars for all of these right here. Uh -huh. I mean, it's 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 a lot, but I'm gonna do it so you don't have to do it. That's the whole point. This is where they were at on the bottom shelf. If they had one more, I'd probably buy that last one. Mm. But if we bought that one, <laughs> oh my. then you know what I mean? Like then we'd have to find something else fifty percent off. You could get the mystery cube fifty no, percent no, off. No, 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 no. <laughs> for somebody else. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave it for somebody else. Let's give this a quick little price check just to make sure it's $50. $49.99. So it is $50. Buy one, get one 50% off. And, <laughs> and, 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 and uh, this is going on on everything. Look at this. So we're going to get a $10 coupon for uh, spending over $100. And then there's some Santa bucks. So we should get some more off of that buy one, get one 50% off, right? I hope. 
you know how much I love a good deal. It's true. Especially when I'm buying something that I'm not very certain about. <laughs> it's your fault. What is up, my breaking family? Sending some careful, 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 positive vibes in your direction. Ooh, didn't drop it. We have $200 in Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Boxes. This is gonna be interesting. Now these two I picked out, and then these two right here, the other Pokemon fans that we randomly ran into, they picked these out. So we're going to open those up last, and uh, let's open up the ones that I picked out. Let's start with uh, start with this one right here. That one feels a little heavier, so I'm gonna save that one for next, but check this box out. There is a lot going on on this box. A Beckett 7 First Edition Charizard. Do you think there's one actually in here somewhere? It says there's a 10 inside of it. It looks like maybe a Pokeball tin with three packs and a Pokeball, obviously. But overall, we're supposed to get five booster packs, one oversized card, one online code card, one tin, and one bonus item, all for $50. However, Breaking Family, you know how much I love to save money. And uh, we definitely got a deal because Meyer was running. Buy one, get one 50% off on all of their uh, trading cards. And then we got a thing called Santa Bucks. On top of that, where we got another, I think, $15 off. And then on top of that, we got a $10 off coupon for our next shopping trip. So uh, definitely did not spend $200, but it is $200 worth of Pokemon Mystery Boxes and Breaking Family. They got the brown paper. That's right, they got the brown paper. I don't know who needs this in their life, but if you need some, right there inside that box. Now, I already see one item that I'm loving. We got the jumbo card of Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Now this is actually an older item. Look at this. This is from 2000s Wizards of the Coast era. Even says not for play use. So really interesting that these are being included. If you did not have one of these in your collection, this would be a great opportunity to hopefully get one. It is a Pokemon mystery box opening that you'd be doing. So. Here we go, going with the next item, our mini tin right here. So this is gonna be our, our tin item that is uh, coming inside of this. Now, I forget what packs are inside of this one. Let's see really fast and see what we got here. We have uh, obviously our coin and our little card right there, Turtwig. We got Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. I'm not upset. I'm honestly not upset because Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain along with Evolving Skies my three favorite sets from the entire Sword and Shield era. We got Caterpie going into Azumarill Energy for the rare and a Pukamuku. And then there's the code card right there. Let's do Chilling Rain next. And what I need you all to let me know is down in the comment section, do you think this was worth it? I mean, $50 is a lot, but let me know down in the comment section after you've seen everything that we've opened up in today's Pokemon opening, do you feel... It was worth $50. We got a Cinderace Hollow Rare Energy in that one. All right, so there's our 10. We should still have five packs, right? Uh, going to Shining Fates. Okay, interesting. Shining Fates inside of here. We're about to go into our next shiny Pokemon set with uh, Paldean Fates coming out in January. Shiny Charizard in here and a Manaphy. So far, energy, not a single ultra rare inside of this, which, I mean, you're spending $50, so that could be a little upsetting. Silver Tempest is up next. Obviously, the big one, alternate art Lugia, but at this point, I think Breaking Family, just any ultra rare, just any ultra rare at this point. Togedemaru, hello, cha. Going into, oh, this is rough. Clink, clang, energy. That's rough. That's rough breaking family. Okay, we have Evolving Skies. Okay, okay, probably the most uh, in demand set of the entire Sword and Shield era. So I'm not gonna complain about opening up a uh, Pokemon Evolving Skies pack. We got Salamance. Okay, hi Dragon, hi Dragon. We'll, we'll t How you doing Dragon? We got uh, a Hollow Rare in that one at least. Crustle and the Code Card. Okay, next up we have Pokemon Go. I should have suspected we would probably see a Pokemon Go pack inside of these. Um, that's all right. That's all right. No big deal. We got Onyx, Charmander, Bidoof, Pidove, and 
Hollow Blissey. So far, energy, not a single ultra rare. It's rough. It's rough. I'm not going to lie. We have Astral Radiance. So um, we should have a code card, right? And a bonus item. So we should still have those two things from the first one. We got a hair cross going into, uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we got something after this one. Oh, we do, we do. Going into a Hisuian Typhlosion V. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet right there. Okay, so we at least did get one Ultra Rare and one Trainer Gallery. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. <clears throat> right there in the VIP section, we got a double. We got a double starting off the VIP section today. And we got Galarian Obstagoon. Right up there in the VIP section. The very important Pokemon card section, which means we can officially add the VIP ropes with the all you can eat bagel bites. That's all we serve in the VIP section sausage, pepperoni, combination cheese. That's all. Grab yourself a paper plate, help yourself, your VIP as well. All right, the bonus item. Whoo! That's, that's, uh, that's a bonus item for sure. Okay, so our code card is going to an Infernape V-Box and then our bonus item, are you ready for this? Ah, right here. <laughs> going to this uh, Mewtwo pin that's uh, probably been sitting in the sun for way too long. That, <laughs> really, really? I feel like this has been sitting in somebody's basement are they giving us basement Pokemon stuff? Is this all this Pokemon stuff from the basement, apparently? Okay, interesting. I mean, this was all the way back in, I think, 2018, 2017, when this came out. Uh, there might be a date. It's definitely too small to read, but it was around that time frame, and I believe this came out of a uh, Toys R Us exclusive box, maybe? However, it's been in somebody's basement, for sure. It had to be. It had to be. Okay. All right, moving on to the box that feels heavier than the last one. This one feels way heavier than the last one. Now, this is not one of the ones that the other people picked out, which I'm going to tell you that whole story here in just a moment um, of how they ended up in the video. And uh, kind of just, yeah, I'll tell you that whole story here in a moment once we get to the boxes that they picked out. But let's go into the next one. We might have more brown paper. We do. We do breaking family and mini tin going to another turtwig. I'm not looking in the box over there, so I want to be surprised along with all of you whenever we uh, pull something out of our Pokemon mystery box opening. Excuse me, our Pokemon mega mystery box opening. Me mega mystery Pokemon mega mystery power box opening. I forgot power. That's very important. That's very important. Break. I'll I corrected myself. I put power in there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I... You don't have to try to embarrass me every single time. I'm only human. I make mistakes just like everybody else. No, you... You 100% make mistakes. You're saying these never made mistakes ever. No, no. You've made mistakes. Gumi! Going into a Landorus Hollow Rare Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. And the code card. Chilling Rain. Let's see if maybe... Ultra Art Blaziken or a Gold Snorlax. A lot of people forget Gold Snorlax, Gold Shiny Snorlax is inside of Chilling Rain. Ghastly and a Zeb Strike. Uh, energy, you know, I'm feeling a lot better that we got a deal on these, you know? Feel a lot better about this. Okay. I think I spotted our bonus item. <laughs> I'll wait to show you that. There's no way I couldn't notice this at all. Okay, all right, we we have our Jumbo, once again, another one of these. I'm not gonna complain because they're actually in pretty decent condition. That's actually really, really nice. I'm glad that they're including that, so that's really cool. <laughs> our code card is another Infernape V-Box. I'm gonna try to avoid the mystery item. I'll show you that last because it's it's random. It's random. Uh, Silver Tempest, if you... If you said, I'll give you a million dollars, one million dollars to guess what mystery item is in this box, I would, if you gave me a hundred guesses, I would still never guess it. I would still, you, I guarantee you wouldn't either. There's no way you would. We got a Snow Runt, Noibat, Milotic, and Hisuian Lilligant Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. All right, let's sleeve up 
or Milo Tick, however. Whoop. Maybe a full art? Maybe a, just a full art? A full art would be nice if we could get one of those. Evolving Skies. Full art Sylveon inside of here, maybe, possibly. Pumpkaboo starting off. Halloween vibes. Halloween's already passed. We got Amolga. Oh, we got something. We got something breaking, family. In our Evolving Skies opening, we have Umbreon V. It's not the alternate art Umbreon, but I'm still happy. It's an ultra rare. There's no way you can be disappointed when you pull an ultra rare. Energy. I get happy anytime I pull an ultra rare, all right? I'm just grateful to be able to open up some Pokemon cards and then pull an ultra rare on top of that. Whoop. No complaints here. No complaints here on my ultra rare pull. And we got Astral Radiance again. We got Chaton. Fly away, bird. Fly away. I gotta say, these, uh, these Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Boxes are comparing to last year. I don't know if you remember last year's Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Boxes that we picked up at Meijer. I feel like these are maybe, I would say, worse. Worse than, uh, worse than last year's. If you don't remember that, we opened them up here on the channel. Um, you can go back and watch it if you want to. But uh, they, I feel like they were better. So you, you compare and let me know. Oh. Oh, do we have something good? Do we have a shiny? Do we got a shiny breaking family? Going into a shiny Rillaboom V. Playing the drums. Energy. Celebrating with our shiny Pokemon pull right there. Whoop. Right up there in the VIP section. Not doing too bad. However, you know, if we didn't have that Pokemon deal, we would be $100 deep in Pokemon mystery boxes so far. So, super happy. Super, super happy we got a deal. We got Tranquil, fly away, Bulbasaur, Numel, oh, is it a Ditto? No, it's not. And a Lapras, Hollow Rare Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. Spark. This might spark some intrigue right here. Wait, because there's a pin in here. Did we get two bonus items? I think we got two bonus items because there's a pin in here, which is going to a Moltres. Look at that. We got a Moltres pin, so we technically got two bonus items, so we got in... Technically, we got an air Pokemon mystery box opening situation. All right, here's here's the item that I told you you would never guess if I offered you a million dollars and a hundred guesses. A Pokemon magazine from the year... Uh, does it even have a year on it? Ah, here we go. From the year 2008 by F and W Publications, 2008. And honestly, <laughs> this is this is actually in really good condition. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really happy about this. This is something I didn't have my in collection at all. It says the ultimate unofficial Pokemon TCG guide. So that means this is not something made by the Pokemon Company International. But uh, this is going to be an interesting read right here. Take a look at this. Back from 2008. Kind of show it. Look at that. A Pokemon price guide right there. Going through. I mean, this is, uh, this is obviously the internet was around in 2008. But it wasn't used as much as it's used today for all the information that we get on Pokemon cards. Especially when it comes to uh, price guides and stuff like that. Now we have things, websites that literally keep track on like an hour by hour, minute by minute basis. But back then, this is kind of like what you had to go off of along with uh, along with eBay sales. But this is very, very interesting. So let's, uh, let's pick out a card. Let's pick out a card. Obviously, I'll, 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 hang on. Obviously the big one. First edition Charizard, base set first edition Charizard in 2008. This is what it's saying, the price. So we got first edition, right? This is base set, Pokemon base set. First edition, going all the way down to Charizard, $34. $34 in 2008, uh, apparently would have gotten you a first edition Charizard. Not bad, I guess. Not bad. If uh, if you bought one for $34 in 2008, congratulations. Let's look up another one. 
Neo Genesis Lugia. First edition Lugia from Neo Genesis. Um, right over here, Lugia, first edition, going for $12.25. There you have it, Breaking Family. <laughs> we got the uh, 2008 unofficial Pokemon price guide right here from a Mega Mystery Power Box. Interest. I'm actually really liking this. I'm not. I'm not complaining. Now going into the ones that uh, the other people picked out, and uh, the interesting thing, the story that kind of goes along with this is, uh, they had no idea who Marie and I were. They had no idea. They literally were just standing there looking at some Pokemon cards, and they saw us trying to make a decision, like this one or that one, and uh, they literally just said, "Go with that one." go with that one right there and then i was like do you just want to be on camera and do the video with me and then sure enough they joined us and they picked out two of them so making memories that's what it's all about make some friends along the way make some memories along the way if you guys are watching right now thank you so much i appreciate your help and i appreciate the conversation as well we got some more brown paper but you never know who you're gonna meet you never know and so i thought that was uh, awesome that they, they literally had no idea who we were, not that everybody should know who we are, but I, I thought for a second, I was like, oh, maybe maybe they've seen the channel before, uh, but no, they, they were just joining in on the fun. And I love that, absolutely love that. Like I said, you never know what friends you're gonna make along the way, so that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. I love that they just joined in in the video. So the 10, we got a cube, which honestly, I'm not complaining at all. Getting a cube, that's one of the 10s so, I mean, they picked out this box. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, we got Lost Origin. So far, they've picked out a good box. We have ourselves a Snover Bronzor Tomokazu Kamiya artwork, my favorite artist of all time. We got Booger Squad with the Gumi and a Comfy, obviously, Lost deck right there. Energy. If you went up against uh, some Lost decks recently, that's probably uh, sending chills down your spine seeing that. We got Delibird going into Porygon. Hey, it's gone now. You see what I did there? Two Bomb of Snow. See, Porygon and then gone. You know, like gone, it's gone. No? Nobody's laughing? N not a single... I, I thought it was funny. Am I in the balcony laughing? No? Nobody in the balcony? Okay. Alright. I see how it is. I thought my jokes were funny. I see how it is. We got Code Card for that one and then Lost Origin wrapping up our Pokemon 10 opening for that one. And then we still have one more mystery box that they picked out. Giratina V-Star. Woo! That's a nice one to pick out. Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. Nice. Now, they, they were also just getting back into uh, Pokemon. They collected back in the day. A lot of us did. Woo! And then uh, suggested 151 to them. Because if you collected back in the day, you're going to love 151. We got the Jumbo card right here. So another Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno Jumbo card. Next up, is this a, our mystery item is going to a Pokeball keychain. How many of these are, exist in the wild? I feel like these were floating around for so long and they're still getting rid of them. 2016. Apparently these were not popular when they released them because they're still in mystery boxes. We got Generations. Okay, that's actually a nice surprise to see. Pokemon Generations opening. We haven't done one of these in a while. We have ourselves a Groudon, Kyogre, and a Flying Pikachu swooping right down. There's the code card right there. Give out the code cards in every single video. I never keep any of them. I always give them to you. Whoop. So if you enjoy a good code card, if you like leaving the negativity at the door, Hanging out in a positive environment, hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Breaking Family. Shining Fates. We just like to hang out, enjoy Pokemon, enjoy each other's company, have a good time. Laugh, smile. In a nice positive environment, right? Coughing, Horsey, Eevee, and Indeedee. This one's actually pretty ultra rare heavy right here. Code card. Now we have not gotten anything like full art wise. So that whoop. Kind of concerns me a little bit when it comes to these mystery boxes that we're kind of just pulling regular ultra rares at this point. So that's something to keep in mind. Fusion Strike is up next. 
Now these boxes are not made by the Pokemon Company International. They are made by a third party company. So that is, uh, like I said, something to keep in mind. And we have it, Kangaskhan Energy. Put that in the filing cabinet. And I can even probably show you the bottom of the box once we get all the items out here. I thought those were stuck together. Okay, Lost Origin. T technically two Lost Origin packs here. We got Clefairy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Giratina, oh, we do have ourselves an Enamorous Trainer Gallery. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. And a Porygon Z Energy. I won't make this, the joke again because nobody laughed. I, I know nobody laughed last time. That's what I was saying. You don't gotta interrupt me. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. Whoop. No, no, this is not your channel. You're part of the channel, right? It's, it's a collective. It's our channel. No, it's not your channel. It's our channel. No, we're, we're not going to do a video where it's just you showing off your Tauros collection. Nobody nobody wants to see the Tauros collection. All right. Gligar, Gumi, going into Galarian Berserker Energy. I got to say, this, this box was actually pretty ultra rare heavy if we really think about it. Whoop. I mean, look at this. All of this from one box, right? All of this. Not bad. Was the Rillaboom from the same box? It might have been. Either way, that's the most we've pulled from one box so far. So, no complaints there. Our code card, however... Oh, you probably would have guessed it. Infernate box. One box left right here. And let's see if maybe we can show this on the screen. Uh, no, no. Uh, you might be able to pause and read that right there. If you want to see what that says... It is packaged by a third-party company. Yep, purchased directly from the manufacturer. Purchased from the secondary market and repackaged. All right, here we go. Did they pick out a good one for our last one? Will we get something that is a full art? Maybe an alternate art? That would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, here we go. Brown paper, I assume. And brown paper, once again, kind of fill up that box a little bit. Uh, because if not, there would be a lot of empty space floating around inside of that box. They probably could uh, make those boxes a little bit smaller. However, I'm pretty sure part of the appeal is that it's a really big box on the shelf. And you see it and you're like, well, there has to be, there has to be a lot of good stuff in here, right? It's a big box. And then you open it up and realize that half the box is brown paper. <laughs> Fusion Strike. So, a little bit a little bit deceiving. But at the same time, I mean, if you look at all the items, you're like, well, that probably can't take up the entire box. We got Flinx, Growlithe, and Livani for the rare energy. If I was to say, should you spend your money on this? Like I said at the start... Let me spend my money, all right? Let me do the research here, show you what I get, and then you can take that information and do what you want. If you want to buy one of these, that's perfectly okay, because guess what? It's your money. Nobody can tell you what to do with your money, right? You earned it. Rillaboom, so if you enjoy these, that's perfectly okay. Don't let anybody tell you differently. I'm just saying, me personally... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not enjoying... I'm not enjoying... Um, this being $50 and what we're seeing right here, because I, I would assume there's probably going to be a lot of people buying these that are not going to be happy with the outcome, unfortunately. So that's what makes me kind of not happy about the situation. So hopefully you're seeing this video before you make a decision. Ditto VMAX Energy. Uh, so, but like I said, if you want to buy these, perfectly okay. However, I just don't think I'm going to give it the whoop. Real breaking Nate seal of approval. I just don't think I'm going to. No, no, I, I, don't, I don't think I can. After being on the fourth one, seeing the pack selection, pull rates, I mean, it, it's all by chance, I assume, here. And when it comes to these mystery boxes, Luxray, not bad, not bad. Another ultra rare, absolutely will take it. I'm just trying to think overall, right? For everybody, I'm not just taking myself into consideration. I'm taking, whoop, taking the overall, right? 
I just feel like probably not my stamp of approval on this one. Evolving Skies. Let's end with Evolving Skies. We'll end with that one. Up next, we got Silver Tempest. Did we even get our mystery item yet? Or was the mystery item the, the little Pokeball keychain? No, that was the last one, wasn't it? Togedomaru, Noibat, Pikachu, Radiant, Jirachi, and an Arcanine for the rare. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. It just, it, I just find it interesting that we've not pulled a full art. It's just all been like regular ultra rares. Whoop. But, you know, once again, chance, right? When opening up booster packs, it's, it's all about chance. Ooh, another one of these, absolutely. What do we got here? Code card, Infernape. Infernape V-Box. Okay, one pack left in here. Oh, and our mystery item. Interesting, interesting. Going to a Swampert pin right there. Mega Swampert pin. That's from the Mega Swampert uh, EX box released way back in the day. Very, very interesting. I actually don't remember if I bought this box back then. So it is nice to have that pin in the collection. We got Pokemon Go, and then we're going to go right into Evolving Skies. I know somebody laughed at that one. Not too fly away. Going into Slowpoke, Meltan. And a Venusaur for the rare energy. Okay, now here we go. Breaking family. I'm going to give these uh, Pokemon Mega Mystery Power Box openings a chance to redeem itself with this Evolving Skies booster pack, all right? Let's see a little bit of alternate art magic inside that. Just sprinkle a little bit of alternate art magic. Let's open up the cabinet. All right, John, let's see you edit that. Open up the cabinet. Grab out, hang on, alternate art spice. Hope you're having fun, John. Fun? Yes, but did it turn out okay? Let us know down in the comments. Also, um, positive vibes to anybody? Sprinkle a little bit of alternate art magic right there. All right, nice. Put that back in the cabinet. Close some WD-40 on those, uh, those door hinges. All right, John, good luck on that one. You know, I've been thinking, Flareon is better than Psyduck. I'm sure there won't be any consequences with that statement, right? <laughs> John's my editor. We'll see if uh, see if John can work his magic on that. We got some of the alternate art magic on there. The spice from the spice cabinet. Here we go. There's the code card right there. Let's do the card trick on this last one. A lot of people have been asking, will Marie get that coffee mug from the GameStop video we did last week? Well, you'll find out this week. Later this week. Slack off. Going into Pikachu, we got Pumpkaboo, Rufflet, fly away. These boxes have been a little rough. See what I did there, Ruff, Ruff, Rufflet, and Ruff, ah, never mind. Energy, put that in the filing cabinet. Copycat, Ice Skew. I got an Ice Skew. What your thoughts are on these boxes? Let me know down in the comments. Going to reply to as many as possible. In Breaking Family, we are ending on... Can I get a drum roll, please? Breaking family, we are ending on. Oh, Milo Tick, you ruined the party. Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos right over there. We'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget, I love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.